Hi everyone, welcome to True Crime and Tarot. I am Natalie, I am the founder of this YouTube channel. Okay, so today's case is to do with a girl, a missing girl called Kristen Mordaferry. I think that's how you say her last name. Um, I have also done some tarot cards reading on this case to see the ins and outs of this case, to see what I've gone on, where I've at, and what the outcome is to be. So I am going to tell you some research that I have got. If there's any um, information that I've missed out, please comment in the description box below. I would really appreciate it. Um, so I'm going to tell you some information I have got on the disappearance of Kristen Modaferi. And then I'm going to do the YouTube cards for this um, case. Okay, let's start. So this is Kristen Mordaferi. She was born in June the 1st, 1979. She was born in Danbury in Connecticut. She had dark brown shoulder length hair. She had brown eyes. She was five foot six, 140 pounds, and she was white Caucasian. Kristen Mordaferi has a distinctive dimples on her face. She likes photography, painting and other creative activities. She was not known to have any vehicles and she generally used public transportation. She may have been carrying a green transport brand backpack and with a black mesh pocket in the front. Kristen Mordaferi was last seen on the afternoon of June the 23rd, 1997 at the coffee shop where she was working in the Crocker Galleria Mall in San Francisco, California. The then 18 year old had completed her freshman year of college in North Carolina and had recently moved to the San Francisco area to attend summer school at the University of California at Berkeley. She was living in Oakland. She had not been seen or heard from since. Any information on the case to call the field office of San Francisco. Kristen was wearing a black Spinelli's t-shirt, which was a long sleeved, um, dark blue plaid flannel shirt and tan pants and possibly fly London sneakers with laces in the front and behind the heel. They also have the imprint of a fly on each of the soles, carrying a green transport backpack with a black mesh pocket on two library books inside of the bag. Caucasian female, dark brown hair, brown eyes and has facial dimples. Authorities utilise bloodhounds to insurance search for Mordaferi. The dog's tractor sent to the Dewey Street No. 38 bus travels across San Francisco to Sutro Park Beach area near Lands End Beach. A anonymous caller contacted KGO TV, the ABC affiliate in San Francisco on July the 10th at approximately um, two weeks after Mordaferi was last seen. The caller said that he knew the identities of two women who was abducted and murdered Mordaferi and placed their remains under a bridge in the paint Point Keys or Rays area of Maine County, California. The women in, co in question told authorities that they believe the phone caller was John Onama. A photo of him is posted with this case summary. The females had apparently harassed by Onuma due to work related problems they encountered with his girlfriend at the time, Jill Lampo. The woman were preparing to fire Lampo from her position when Onuma allegedly began harassing them. Law enforcement officials questioned him about the incident and he admitted to making a phone call to the KGO TV to cause problems for the women. Another female witness came forward and stated that Onuma allegedly abused Mordefrey and she was disappeared. The witness said that during the encounter, on Onuma told her now you know what happened to Kristen Mordefrey. Three other women stated that they had incidents involving Onuma and Lampo as well. Lampo allegedly lured the victims to Onuma and were subsequently abused by him. 
Authorities searched Anima's residence and discovered Lampo's journal, which was missing pages from the time of Modifree's banished in June 1997. It is not known if either Onima or Lampo is connected to Modifree's banishment banished in June 1997. It is not known either they were connected in the case or one has been charged with the involvement of a disappearance due to the lack of evidence. Onuma has since moved to Hawaii. Investigators looked into the possibility that Robert Durst was involved in Modifree's case. Robert's first wife, Kathleen Durst, disappeared from New York in 1982. Her case remains unsolved and Robert is considered the prime suspect, although he has never been charged in connection with her case. Robert was charged with the 2001 Texas homicide of Morris Black. He claimed he murdered Black in self-defence and was acquitted in 2003. In 2015, he was charged with murder in the 2000 shooting death of Suzanne Berman. Authorities don't believe Durst was involved in Mordefree's case, but he's still being considered in the disappearance of Karen Mitchell from Eureka, California and the 1971 disappearance of Lynn Shulls from Middlebury, Vermont. Robert and Kathleen owned a health store in Middlebury in 1971 and Shulls visited it the day she went missing. Mordefree's case remains open and unsolved to this day. Investigating agency is Oakland Police Department 510-238-3641. This is when I come into it then with my tarot reading. This is where I started tuning into the energies, tuning into this case to see what had happened and what the outcome is to be at the end of it. I have asked four simple questions. Number one, what happened to Kristen Mordeferry? Two, who was involved in Kristen Mordeferry's disappearance? Three, where is Kristen or her body? Four, what is the final outcome of Kristen's case? So number one, what happened to Kristen Mordefree? Chariot card. Kristen was a very strong, determined, strong person that was overcoming any obstacles in her path. There was travel and or car related involvements and someone was hiding behind a mask. Reverse four swords. There's a near death experience and someone that is no longer out of jail. Reverse high priestess. There's a lot of frustration and impatience and secrets coming out that could be to do with the pregnancy and choosing to be left alone. Ace of Wands, there was a new beginning and some stirrings and taking action and the need to want to start over and also doing a project that she was very, very passionate about. Reverse Six of Swords, there was conflict and some trouble that was stirred up and ran away but there was nowhere to run there was a lot of hopelessness and being stopped in her tracks nine of swords there was a lot of upset anguish suffering and crying and being imprisoned and is a victim and can't cope and is having a breakdown reverse nine of cups there's someone that is very immature and have a cover-up that happened that has a lot of addictions and there is a lot of devastation and being let down. Next question is who was involved in Kristen Mordefree's disappearance? Reverse Knight of Cups. There was a male that couldn't face reality that had sex, drugs and alcohol addictions that was a womanizer, a obsessor that may have been an unrequainted love rival that was very manipulative and cunning that may have also been a one night stand. The death card. There is some family secrets that's involved and a new beginning but also a ending. Wheel of Fortune. There's a positive change and growth and success. Six of Pentacles. There's someone that is being hired and is getting back on their feet. There's also someone, some type of handouts being out and being paid for something. Reverse Queen of Swords. There's an immature female that is very cold-hearted and malicious, that is very vindictive and can be a cruel person that likes to punish people. Ace of Swords. 
There was new plans and accidents and news in their head and not their heart in a situation. There is also justice that is going to be served. King of Wands. There's a strong, powerful male that is a boss or a mentor that is very bold and a risk taker and very competitive. Where is Kristen Mordefrey or her body? Reverse Page of Swords. There's to be bad news to do with bad injuries made by a sharp object and someone has learning difficulties and someone that is constantly spying, that is looking for trouble, that have been very dishonest and is being caught off guard. Reverse Nine of Pentacles. There's a cover up and a property damage where Kristen is and prostitution is most likely to be involved. Eight of Cups. There's a lot of loneliness and being very exhausted and have had enough and is trying to walk away but there is a lot of emptiness and also a void. Reverse King of Swords. There is an immature male that is very rigid and cold, very unsympathetic and is cruel, very violent, that is controlling and that is a criminal that may be a father figure. Reverse Three of Pentacles. There is a lot of mistakes that does chaos work and that has no goals in life. Eight pentacles. There's someone who may have had their own business that is doing some close inspection that has a reputation of being dedicated. Reverse queen of pentacles. There's a female that is not a very nice person that is in poverty. There is a lot of chaos and neglect that is involved also in some boosts. What is the final outcome of Kristen Mordefrey's case? King of Pentacles. So there is to be a male that is very wealthy and is friendly, that is to bring support in the case, that is to invest and commit to helping out to help find Kristen. Devil card. There is someone that is hiding, that is to blame, that is coming out on people and there is to be some tempting offers to be brought to the situation. Then we have the Page of Wands. That is to be exciting news and things are going to become very successful. So that is the research that I have done on Kristen Mordefrey. And that is the um, prediction reading I have done on her case as well. There has got to be some type of truth that is involved in this um, in the tarot cards that I have done. They may not be 110% accurate. But there have got to be some type of truths within it also. Let's hope Kristen Mordefrey and her family get some justice and let's help them trying to bring her home. Let's try and reach out to help with some awareness to find her. A lot of love from myself to everyone and to Kristen and to her family. Let's try and get her home. Until the next case, I see you again soon. Bye.